Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I'll be doing a product review using the main choice Soft Skin B 3-in-1 Revitalize and Refresh Conditioner and also I'll be using it with the Crystal Orchid Biotin Infused Styling Gel. So right now I'll be using the 3-in-1 Conditioner as a detangler since at this stage right here my hair was very dry and I didn't really do anything with it for a few days so I wanted to see how well it does as a detangler. Well, since I had to learn that the hard way, <laughs> well, this conditioner had a milk-like consistency to it, so it was very light but moisturizing. Um, I do recommend that you use a little bit more water than I use so that you don't have to use too much product to distribute it through your hair, but I had a lot of tangles at the moment, so I was just trying to use what I can so I can work throughout the sections, but at the same time, it did work really well as a detangler. So I section my hair off in six twists and then I'm just going to simply wash and deep condition my hair and come back for the styling process. So now I'll be using the 3-in-1 conditioner as a leave-in and then I'll pair it with the Crystal Orchid Biotin Infused Styling Gel. I was really excited to try this gel out because of the claims that it had. Even though it says maximum hold, um, the gel it had a very medium consistency so I wasn't really expecting a maximum hold. but I'll give it a shot <laughs> but um so I just used a little bit of the leave-in and then I went ahead and used the gel from roots to ends and then um, I was able to detangle it with my Demon brush and then I just simply twist so that's what I did for my entire head and um, I'll come back and let you all see the results and then I'll give my final thoughts So let's start off with the pros and cons of the 3-in-1 conditioner. It was a great detangler for my hair. It left my hair feeling soft and moisturized. It had a really good consistency and then on top of that it had a very pleasant scent. Now the cons of it, I wish it came in a bigger packaging. That's all. <laughs> Um, the pros and cons of the gel, it smelled great, really good slip, it was very well on my hair for um, detangling, it had a really good hold so it wasn't crunchy. The only thing I did not like about this gel was the fact that it left so many flakes in my hair like a snowstorm. And on top of that, it left a slight film on my hair. I really want to wonder why, why there were so many flakes that I used too much. Um, too much leave-in in my hair and then did I use too much gel I don't know if you all have used these together and y'all did not experience um, flakes 
uh, please let me know what y'all did because <laughs> it was like a, like I said before, like a snowstorm in here. And I was, a, I was a little disappointed. But at the same time, the definition in my hair, like I'm, I'm well pleased at the definition of it. And then like I wanted to um, separate the curls, but I actually like it like this. And I think I'm gonna have to start wearing my hair like this more. Mm. For the leave-in, will I purchase this again? Yes, great detangler. It rinsed out really well, which I know it will be a great co-wash. Um, as a leave-in, sure, why not? It was really good. But the gel, will I purchase this gel again? Probably not, because I experienced so much flex and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but, but, if there is a solution for these two to work properly in my hair, Please let me know down in the comments. I will greatly appreciate it and love you forever. <laughs> this is my first time actually using both of these products together. And just, um, it's a learning process. All of this is just trial and error, trial and success. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get a notification on when I post my next upload, which will be very soon. And I will see you all later in my next video. Bye.